This is how highly I think of my degree. It's just, it's sitting in a box and storage. Here it is. Um, pretty worthless, to be honest. I've all the learning that I've done ever in IT is at, on the job. Uh, that's not true. That's not fair. Um, I've done a lot of learning at the beginning of my degree, though, um, when I was still at UMass Boston. Um, so in this video, what I want to do is is go through my transcript. Um, so I have some of it from UMass Boston here in, in Boston, Massachusetts, and some of it from uh, Southern New Hampshire University, which is um, in New Hampshire, but I, I, I took an online class. Um, my uh, <laughs> my degree journey was a little, a little bumpy. I think I transferred a total of five times. Um, and I think I talk about it in one of these videos. Um, which I'll link up here. So check that out. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, let me just pull up my transcript and let's go through it. Okay. Um, I've, I've pulled up my... I pulled up my uh, transcript, both from UMass Boston and SNHU. Um, this thing is kind of uncomfortable. Um, we can do this whole video in this, in this gown because I didn't actually go to my graduation. Um, so this is my graduation. Uh, so let's start with freshman year. For freshman year, it was 2015. Um, 2015 of fall, I took Introduction to Computing, Composition 1. What is Composition 1? Oh, I think Composition 1 is English. I don't think it's a... Yeah, it's an English class. Calculus 1 and Music of the World 1. So, Music of the World was obviously my elective. And at this time, I thought I was going to do CS. So, I, I was going to... I was already declared as a computer science major. Intro to Computing was like one of the hardest classes I've ever taken. That computing class was in Python. And I learned a whole lot of things in that class, but it went so fast. I thought it was gonna be like just a simple introduction class. Um, I remember, I remember like the first half was like fundamentals of like Python syntax, like um, just variables, uh, if statements, loops, uh, and then and like I think we got into functions and classes as well. I can't remember too much, but I just remember it being really hard. English class was okay. it was fine. Calc one was also really hard. Spring of 2016, right? So it was fall of 2015 and then spring of 2016. Uh, it looks like I took five classes. I don't know why in the hell I would do that, but it looks like intro to literary studies. I think this was just a, a core like requirement from UMass Boston. Sorry, no, I didn't take five classes. I started, <laughs> I took five classes, but I withdrew from my IT problem solving course. And the reason for that was that course, I went into it. So it's IT problem solving. It's like the fundamental IT class. Um, I walked into it having some ex small experience in IT and tech. And I thought I was going to just pass flying college. You know, I thought it was going to be about computer components, fundamentals of like information technology just in general and companies and stuff like that. Maybe, um, concepts within information technology business even um so that's what i thought it was <laughs> that professor it was i think he was new that year it was it was the i remember the textbook he gave us was n it had no technical whatsoever it was all i think like management information systems or something like that and i was just i was lost throughout the whole year and i was also taking five classes which included calculus too um and it's some programming classes as well so yeah so halfway through i just i decided to withdraw and I, knowing I, I would take it again but with a different professor and that one i withdrew introduction to java um it was also an okay class it was pretty simple just because i had already taken introduction to computing in python um 
if you told me to write a line of code in Java right now, no way I could do it, but I remember that class being pretty simple. And then introduction to Linux, Unix, that was also a very simple class, again, because I, I was already interning as um, more like a help desk role, but I was exposed to, to a lot of Linux. That was probably my, the most useful class I've ever taken, was that introduction to Linux class, because that kind of accelerated my like Linux knowledge and like allowed me to work with some of the assignments at, uh, at my work. Um, and then calculus two again, um, a super difficult class. I don't know how I passed. Uh, so fall, fall of 2016, I think that's when I had, that's when I went to UMass Lowell online. Um, I couldn't find the transcript for that, but it was only a couple of classes and um, I, I'm pretty sure I was able to transfer them. Um, so we're just going to ignore fall 2016, uh, spring 2017, where I'm back at UMass Boston. So at this point, I had changed my uh, my degree to information technology major, um, and it was a system administration track. And I took, it looked like I only took two classes. The first one being introduction to system administration. I don't really remember that class that much. I'm trying to remember what we did. I actually don't remember. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember what we learned about. And the other class was uh, moral social problems, I guess. I also don't remember that class, but I, I bet you I've, n I've only taken, like if it's not an IT related or tech related or some like really fun, interesting class, that's because it was required by um, the, the university. Because you usually have like core classes or gen eds, general education that you need to take and then alongside your like core degree uh, requirements. And then that summer, uh, I know I, I switched over to SNHU. So summer of 2017, uh, I ended up taking only uh, one class, uh, perspective in the so uh, perspective in social sciences. Uh, pretty easy class. Uh, again, that was just a uh, a required class to take. Fall of 2017, I was still at SNHU. Uh, I took two classes: English Composition two, and then I took fundamental uh, fundamentals of information technology, which which pretty much was like a PC building class, except it's online. So it was all like simulations. Um, and I remember, I remember it being pretty cool actually, um, because we were online. So I was very confused on like how we were gonna learn um, all of this tech related stuff and component related things. Um, but they had a simulation and you, like some, some of the assignments would be like, um, here's like an error message on your on like the window screen what do you need to fix it and you could launch the simulation and you can like drag the little cables so if you know if like the network cable wasn't plugged in you could like grab the network cable and like plug it in um and see if it fixes it or not then spring of 2018 i think i went back to umass boston yeah i only took two classes and at this point i think i was a full-time worker not an intern so in that semester, I took Peoples and Cultures uh, Africa. That was also a requirement, like a general education requirement. I also didn't want to take another technical class during that time because I was also taking Windows System Administration. That was also another really cool class. Um, it was in person. I remember assignments like um, building a VM and then on that VM, you know, installing a domain controller, um, installing uh, other VMs, uh, uh, smaller just workstation VMs, it was Windows 10 or something like that, and then joining it to that domain that you create, um, creating group policies and applying them to those workstations that you create. So that was a useful class as well. Then 2018 fall, I was still at UMass Boston. Um, I took two classes, um, Intro to psych Psychology and IT Problem Solving. Oh, I remember, okay, okay. Um, when I went back to UMass Boston, they didn't let me transfer the basic IT course that I took at SNHU. This time around, I mean, I've, <laughs> I got an A, so I, it must have been pretty easy, but I don't, I still don't think it was basic IT stuff. And then intro, intro to psych, I think was also another requirement that I, to fulfill some requirement. We just finished spring of 2019. Uh, I took some classes during the summer in 20. 19 still at umass boston uh but those four classes were uh intro to biology and anthropology i think introductory statistics 
uh, global food studies and intro to theater terrible idea to take classes over the summer on online where you have to be self-disciplined um i think so that's where i my umass boston career ends yeah this was fall of 2019 i switched over to snhu um and because snhu if you're a full-time student you take two classes per term and each term is like two months long so it's pretty short so inst but instead what i did was instead of taking two classes it's like three classes that way i would just like expedite the process um and at that point i still had like two years of like um school to go if i did it like a regular full-time but because i was part-time i would take me even double the amount so it would take me another four years to finish so in the end once once i did this once i switched over to snhu and I did three classes per term. I actually ended up finishing the whole thing in like a year. But yeah, so let's look at the classes that that I had left. Fall 2019, uh, so I took Introduction to Mass Communication, Perspective in History, uh, just a core requirement. I had to take it. Uh, computer Platforms uh, Technologies. I don't remember what, I, what we covered in that class, but did well in it, I guess. Bus System Analysis and Design. Okay, I think this class was all about different like workflows and mythologies and stuff like that like the waterfall method uh, agile methodologies um concepts like that um i don't remember what kind of like project we, i think it was a paper uh and then website design um that was just i think html and css just the basics i did create a website and i'll pull it up if i if i have it it was sh a shitty website and then winter of 2020 to applied history another just a requirement database design pretty hard class and then project management and in info te uh, information technology uh then another one was human factors and information technology i think that was just kind of like ethics and and tech human relations and, and administration that was kind of uh, it was not tech related actually i remember that class it was more i enjoyed that class i think it was a lot about like teams managing like you know different personalities on a team um it was almost like psychology um I, I can't i can't remember exactly like the specific things that we covered but i remember enjoying that as well and then the other one was natural resources just the, like a science class um again that was just a requirement did pretty well in all of these then summer 2020 i had uh communications and stem professions don't know what that class was to be honest i assume i think i went along with like the project management and stuff um, and how to like deal with communicating with different stakeholders and stuff, and things like that. Maybe I'll do another video where like I go and find my like assignments and stuff like that and and go through what I did. But yeah, I don't know what that is. Uh, next is oh, uh, network and telecommunication management. That was just a networking class. Um, pretty simple as well. Then uh, we had cybersecurity and information assurance. Uh, and along that was cyber laws and ethics, uh, which went hand to hand. Yeah, I think we, so we, I remember us just following some textbook and it was like very high level. Don't recall any of the things that we learned, um, which is, which is a pattern that you see, especially at SNHU where it's online, fast paced. Um, and like my mentality at this point was just like, get it, get a good grade and call it a day um, and get your degree as fast as possible. Uh, so I wasn't like, I wasn't out there like, oh, trying to figure out like, oh, is this useful in my, in my work or in my um, career? Because I, like I was already working full time. Those are two were okay. Did okay in them. Then oh, advanced information systems design. That I think went hand to hand. Like their pre prerequisite to that class was um, the systems and analysis and design class. And I think we just uh, developed more into it. Um, I did okay. Um, and then I like directly after that class, I took advanced information systems implementation, which was like in the design class, uh, we came up with, um, we came up with like, there was like a, a problem and it was like a case study. Like I made up case study about like a company that we picked. Um, and there was 
some kind of issue or requirement that they needed to implement soon or they wanted to implement. So in the first class, um, you figured out like a solution for that problem um, and how that would look like. And you, you built, um, use some of the things you learned in like project management, stuff like that to um, put together like a proposal pretty much. Um, and then in the advanced information system implementation, you went through the implementation of your proposal. Um, now the problem with these both classes is all made up. So like, it's not an actual problem. A lot of it isn't technical um, in, in, the, in the sense that like, I wasn't like installing things. Like I wasn't like creating VMs and like having, like creating this, um, like let's say like, right now, like a hot topic in, in IT is like Kubernetes, right? Like it wasn't like me, oh, here's a solution and it's Kubernetes. And like, um, it wasn't like that. It was very high level. And then because of that, the implementation was also kind of like, well, we are just going to implement it in this hypothetical scenario. And I guess it was a success because <laughs> it's all made up. Um, so I thought, I don't know. I like, I, I just wish it was designed a bit differently the curriculum around that but did well in it so that was okay i guess um and then fall 2020 was um my last two classes uh it's the easiest class i've ever taken wellness um was just a, like about wellness health mental physical all of it it portfolio planning was just the um gather all the projects that you've done um and like showcase it pretty much uh and then if it got approved like you're good yeah so that was that class it was just an a like it it was nothing and that's pretty much it but yeah but i mean that was my experience glad it's done now i think at this point a lot of i've learned a lot on the job and i've done like a lot of learning on my own like on youtube and like doing uh, looking at tutorials um or like taking courses on like udemy or like Coursera and stuff like that that's where I've done majority of the learning. Um, majority of the learning that like are applicable to my job right now. But yeah, I don't, I don't know. Uh, outside of that, I it was it was good. And hopefully this helped uh, a little bit. Maybe you're thinking about school and stuff like that. Trying to figure out what like what kind of classes you're, you're going to take if you're in an IT degree. Um, but let me know. Let me know in the comments if it was actually helpful or if it was just kind of like me complaining about school. Also, make sure you subscribe. Uh, all right, like that, smash that like button. Um, and channeling my Graham Stefan right now, right? Smash the like button, subscribe. Uh, let me know what you think, what you wanna hear next. Um, also, uh, I created a new Instagram account because I, you know, I didn't, I didn't feel like bombarding all my friends that have followed me all these years with with it um stuff so i'll link my instagram here um and follow me there and if you already follow me on my personal instagram unfollow me i don't really care do what you want peace